Well, new at four today and for the first time, we are hearing the no longer secret grand jury proceedings into the deadly police shooting of Breonna Taylor. NBC Force Patrick Healy tells us they include first hand accounts of the officers involved and Taylor's boyfriend who was with her. The unsealing of the secret grand jury proceedings coming in response to unrelenting outrage that no one's being held criminally liable for the death of 26-year-old medical tech Brianna Taylor, shot to death in her own apartment by Louisville police, breaking in with a warrant. We hear police lieutenant Sean Hoover describe the moments leading up to it. We knocked on the door, the police waited, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Okay. Not again. Taylor's boyfriend Kenneth Walker told investigators he and Taylor were asleep. Walker said that she asked who is it but got no answer, that he thought it might have been a former boyfriend. He popped up over there once before while I was there like a couple of weeks ago. So that's what I thought was doing. We both get up, start putting her clothes, another guy at the door. She's like, who is it? Then a third knock. Sergeant John Mattingly was hit once in the leg. As soon as the shot hit, I could feel the heat in my leg. And so I just returned fire, I got four rounds off. So now the door is like flying over the other one shot, and then all of a sudden there's a whole lot of shots. And I we both just dropped to the ground. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron said he concluded officers fired in self-defense. The jury indicted Officer Brett Hankinson for firing into an adjacent apartment. He pleaded not guilty to wanton endangerment. A.G. Cameron issuing a written statement. I'm confident that once the public listens to the recordings, they will see that our team presented a thorough case to the Jefferson County Grand Jury, unquote. Cameron made a point that police found a witness who said he heard the police announce themselves. But, of course, what matters is whether Taylor and her boyfriend heard that. He was emphatic they did not. Now, this case is drawing renewed scrutiny of the practice of issuing of warrants for late-night searches looking for drugs. So did the Louisville police find any? No. It came out during the grand jury proceeding that after the tragedy, police didn't even bother to look. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Back to you.